our Warriors Gallery opening. We've been working for the last entire quarter on creating oral histories, portraits, and narratives of alum of Henrico High School. We reached out to the alum, but since then the children have done everything. They created interview questions, they practiced interviewing on one another. When they were finally allowed to actually meet the alum, they learned very useful soft skills, eye contact, handshakes, those kinds of things. They interviewed the alum, the oldest of which graduated in the 1960s, so they sort of got this large swath of what Henrico used to be and versus what it is now. <laughs> Our teacher, her name was Miss Cindy. She told us about how Henrico has changed over the years, like from the clubs to the group, just like a lot about like the evolution of Henrico. And she gave us tips on how to be like more social and how to make like high school life better. This is Miss Dawn. She works with children who have a hard time expressing how they feel emotionally. This is like one of my favorite people to talk to because she really helps you open up and she really cares about how you feel. Sharon Kelly, she was a gymnast and I actually used to want to do gymnastics when I was little. She's in the Hall of Fame. And Tawana Lowry, she was an assistant principal at my elementary school, so I knew her already. And now she's a principal at Jacob L. Adams. So they both doing big things. I feel like this project has helped me learn skills that I'm gonna need when I go on to college and probably even further on in life. I think I got better like at my communication skills. Look at people in the eye because when I talk, I like to stare off to the side, but now I like making eye contact is better for communication. Well, just to learn about how it was back then and how you can make things change or how things have already changed and just to get to know things before they used to be the way you see them. I hope that they feel confident going into any interview that they ever go into now. So that's no longer a fearful place for them, instead that's a comfortable place that they've been in themselves. And I also hope that they begin to ask questions of the older people in their lives just generally. Because of this project I started recording my own grandmother as she talks, and she's 98. So we won't have those stories forever, and just to hear her sort of ethos in life and record it has even affected me, so I hope it affects them further.